Uh, today's Wednesday, so it's a normal length day, starting at 2 o'clock and finishing at 10. Uh, we start off with question time. The uh, leader of the opposition, Simon Bridges, has the first question to the Prime Minister. Uh, <clears throat> a very standard question, does she stand by all her uh, government's policies and actions? Then uh, Kiritapu Allen has one to the Minister of Finance about uh, capital allowances. There's quite a lot of debate going on about schools and hospitals and, and their financing, especially for their buildings. So it's an important issue. Uh, Judith Collins has one to uh, Phil Twyfer, the Minister of Housing and Urban Development. Uh, it's about discussions that he had with the member for Mount Albert. Um, an interesting approach to it because the Prime Minister is the member uh, for Mount Albert. Um, but what he can, what Judith Collins can ask about uh, is, is relatively restricted uh, because it's, it will be about uh, the relationship with Jacinda Ardern uh, as um, a local member, not as a minister. Uh, Jamie Lee Ross is continuing his questions to Mr Twyford on, on transport. Uh, we have uh, a question, I don't want to say a patsy question, but a, uh, a, a, an easier question to the Minister of Regional Development than some that he gets uh, because it's coming from Mark Patterson, one of, his, one of his own team. So that's to Shane Jones. Question number six um, is interesting. Uh, it's a Finlayson question to the Attorney General, David Parker, does he stand by all his statements and actions regarding the New Zealand Bill of Rights vetting? Now, these are two of the uh, relative uh, parliamentary heavyweights. Um, Finlayson knows a lot about the Bill of Rights. Uh, and for people who are parliamentary geeks or constitutional geeks, this could be uh, a question worth looking out for. Um, we then go on quite a few questions, but then one to... Uh, from Melissa Lee to the chairperson of the Economic Development Science and Innovation Committee uh, about the committee's meetings and whether it's, whether it's held them uh, in relation to Radio New Zealand. Uh, again, this will be uh, an interesting question, uh, but a very, a very narrow one. After question time, we go on to the general debate, uh, the last opportunity before the recess for a sort of a roundabout, uh, round the houses debate. Um, the appropriation bill where we're looking at the reviews from the last financial year, so things are, are pretty dated now, um, but that gets interrupted at 20 to 6 uh, when Jonathan Coleman is going to make his valedictory statement. These are always interesting statements. They are an opportunity for a retiring MP to indicate uh, what they thought was important during the time they were a Member of Parliament to maybe to underline some of the things that they were involved in and, and leave a parting message for the way uh, the government, the parliament or even their own team um, should act in the future. After dinner, we'll go on to the privacy bill, uh, the continuation of the first reading, and then two uh, bills from Nanaia Mahuta. Uh, the first is a, is a local government community wellbeing amendment bill, and then there's a, a local electoral uh, uh, matters bill, which gives some more flexibility uh, in local government elections. So, House finishes at 10, should be an interesting day.